Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to answer this question. What alternative method would you like to use for OLEDB command transformation? This can be very uh, very important question. This can be follow up question in the interview when they ask you how would you update or delete records in the data flow task. So the first question would be that and then you will answer that and they will ask you this question. So let's uh, start with the first question. How would you delete or update records uh, in the data flow task? In the data flow task to delete or update, update the records, uh, we need to use the OLEDB command transformation. The OLEDB command transformation is the transformation that can be used to run the SQL statement for each of the record. So we can update record, we can delete a record, we can insert the records, we can do three DML operations. But as I said that it will be running a SQL statement for each of the record that make it slow transformation. So what are the alternatives once of this OLEDB command transformations are? I have done uh, a video, a demo, uh, and if you take a look, you will find it in the above questions, and I will put the link of that video as well in the description. So what are the alternatives for us? First thing, we want to update the record, that's, we have to have do it. So first in the data flow, read the records and put the records into some staging table. And then uh, uh, come outside of the data flow and use the execute SQL task. Uh, that and write the SQL queries uh, to update the record to initiate set base operation instead of uh, row by row operation. The same thing can be done for the delete. If you need to delete the records in the data flow task, don't delete in the data flow task. Instead of those records, uh, put in the some staging table and uh, key, uh, come outside of the data flow and then uh, use that staging staging table to um, in the execute SQL task. Uh, uh, and write your uh, delete statements uh, from those tables. So th th these are different techniques you will be using, but mostly you will be writing the data to some staging tables or temporary tables, and then uh, you will be using execute SQL task to run uh, the set base queries uh, to delete or update those records. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you next video.